All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, Semi Cube R Factor, and a happy guy with a new toy. This is an R Factor. Stay tuned. That that's what we got on the table for today. Oh, oh, oh. so <laughs> stay redo, redo the intro. <laughs> nah, this, this is perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, post, post intro. You good, bro? Bro, you got it, bro. Trap. <laughs> Here. Oh, what what are we looking at again? This so this is a Semi Cube Two Pro, uh, twenty five newton meter wheel. Um, I'm still learning how to kind of set it up a little bit. We got the um, the Huskin Build Sprints, uh, Track Racer TR one sixty, and uh, yeah. Um, so far. So um. We got the iRacing R Factor comparison going. Um, that's the that's the plan for today's episode. Uh, out of the blue, Josh hit me uh, talking about R Factor changing his multiplayer system. You check my last video out. I kind of talked about it a little more. Well, now we're going to do the same car comparison on iRacing and R Factor and kind of see see which uh, see which one I like more. Um, the tire model and both are very, very good. They're very, very good. The tire model is good, and um, yeah. So I mean, just just real quick, uh, go over the setup. What, what we got right here, bro? All right. So recently, just got this in. Um, this is a Simi Cube Two Pro, uh, twenty-five newton meters. So I replaced the DD One that you guys may have seen on the channel with the Simi Cube. It's the wheelbase that I've always wanted for a couple years now. Um, and luckily enough, I, I, it was just really hard for me to part with the DD1 while I was parting with the DD1. Mm. So, uh, but now, you know, I got over it. I parted ways with all my Fanatec gear. Not that they're not good or bad or whatever, but just, it was just time for a new change for me, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, Sony Cube 2 Pro, um, I got the Moza FSR wheel, which is the biggest probably bang for the buck that I've gotten on this entire sim so yeah. far. Um, AG Sprints from Huskinville. And the Track Racer TR160, which uh, you guys have probably seen on the channel before. Uh, um, maybe once or twice. Once it's, twice yeah. um, so how how you feel about this eye racing R Factor thing? So the, the, the I know I hit you up the other day because I saw a video the other day on uh, Traction GG's channel, and they were doing this the changes new, everything. This changes everything, and yeah. it's it's the biggest thing with R Factor is that the way to do multiplayer, I guess, was not good. Um, I do know that. Um, the uh, LFM was running on R Factor, and they were having you know their own thing going on there. But as far as R Factor goes, I didn't really play it a lot because it's a great sim for your buddies to come out and you know try out and be like, okay, here's the difference in tire model between this and this. Um, R Factor is definitely one of those sims that are more realistic rather than something like Automobilista 2. But um, because of those multiplayer lobbies, I, you know, I, I really want to dive into them and kind of see what they're about. I think that our little sim racing group could actually have a lot of fun on R Factor right now with these multiplayer lobbies. I mean, they did it exactly like iRacing. You have rookies, you have this and that, you have a safety rating, your driver rating, and this and that. So, with that being said, we have a reason to play R Factor 2 now, yeah. which, is, which is awesome. And they're still updating the game to this day, too. Now, going into iRacing, iRacing, in my opinion, and I know that this is a very strong opinion that I have, it is the best yeah. simulator for multiplayer driver on driver. Yeah. Um, the physics are realistic uh, to the point where you can get in something like a Mazda Miata uh, cup car, and you could probably pull similar times in real life. Um, it's been tested, a uh, racing driver tested, I'm not going to say like us tested. Um, that they're pulling the same lap times. Daniel Morad, you guys might know him, he drives the uh, Mercedes GT3, he helped develop it inside the game. He's pulling the identical lap times. The identical lap times between iRacing and, and, and the real car. So iRacing definitely is there. There's a reason why Max Verstappen and all the pro eSIM drivers literally use nothing but iRacing. Um, it's a great platform. The only downside is, and I've said this in our, one of our last videos, you have to pay for everything. Mm -hmm. um, and it's steep. It's kind of steep. It, it, get, it gets it deep. It gets deep, man. It really it gets does. deep. Um, I'll chime in and say, before I tried either of them, I think I was leaning more towards 
R Factor personally. Probably because it, I mean, it costs a little less, but I think the community and the reactions I've seen from the people I watch was pretty high. From what I've noticed though, racing teams, and this might have been back in the day when R Factor first came out, but racing teams were using their own version of R Factor 2 for their simulators. I've heard, I've heard of R Factor 2 and I've heard a lot of people the, use a set of Set of course. So um, with R Factor 2, like I know Jimmy Broadbent, he drove in the, um, the Praga Cup. They oh, use their own version of R Factor 2 for the Praga Cup for the sim. All right. Well, yeah. So that's kind of a quick little rundown. Um, looking like we're gonna we're gonna do 488 GT3 um, Evo on both on both sims and uh, talk about what I feel and you know we'll we'll have a conversation and then kind of go from there. Yeah. So, and that'll be track so, pack. So last time I looked at R Factor 2, I remember it being pretty expensive for some of the cars and stuff like that. Um, Compared to iRacing, actually, it's very similar compared to iRacing. So if you want the Nurburgring, you're paying twelve dollars, and iRacing, I think it's ten to fifteen dollars per track, or it might be eleven dollars per car and fifteen dollars per track. I can't remember. Don't quote I me think on that it's price. fifteen. Fifteen per track. Maybe. Most cars, and they do have like legacy, legacy cars. cars. And so Z4, Z3, for so. every twenty dollars you spend, or thirty dollars you spend, you get five dollars off. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, every every single time. Okay, so, so go ahead and go to uh, cars. Cars. Let's go ahead and get the. If you go to the search bar, you can type in a. Oh wow! They put the Cadillac DPI car in there. Yeah, God. that's the older one, though. Huh? Yeah, that's a that's a DPI, so it's not the L the GTP LMD car. Three thirty M score. They have car packs. It's a car pack. Yeah, they got car packs. So these are the two I pulled up in my last video. And the endurance pack. What is the endurance pack? Endurance have? pack is like. So you get some the Cadillac DPI, the McLaren Senna GTR, an Areca LMP2, a couple P2s, LMP3, a couple P3s, Corvette C8 R GTE, Aston Martin Vans GTE, MA GTE, C7 R RSR, 488 GTE, four eight eight GTE, and the Liger LMP3. So this is one of the few games that has a seven and the eight. GTE car, GTE so that would kind of be a cool comparison. Yeah. But all right, let's go ahead and get some driving. Did you paint all these cars blue and green? It's yeah, just a generic paint. All right, so same deal. We're at Spa home track. Um, I'm gonna compare these. I'm gonna do three laps, actually five laps. Uh, 488 in both R Factor and I Racing, and then we're gonna talk about the FFB. But uh, this is my first time driving the GT3 in I Racing. Actually, I've only driven the GTP cars, the A6 Cup, and the Miata. I may have drove like one of the off-road cars sarcastically but this is my first time driving gt3 uh it feels pretty good man i'm not seeing oh okay so a little a little different but at the same time it's it's kind of cool the game is forcing me for whatever reason, this is giving us a little trouble today. But I'm looking on here. You know, I got my thumb encoders in place. So let's go ahead and uh, stop talking and get focused. I think I think it's pretty telling though the fact that I'm able to casually drive and not get too far off pace. But uh. Yeah, we're gonna get some laps in and go from there. I need. Come on. That was, is that your record? It's the ghost. Whose ghost? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna claim it as my ghost. Tony Kanan, you're gonna claim it as your ghost until I beat it. Like, yeah, I don't know who the fuck that guy And is. then when you beat it, it's not my ghost anymore? Exactly. Oh, come on. Let's go! Here 
shit, your shit is legit. Better than 
high racing in my opinion. But um, I'm pretty impressed right now to be honest with you guys. So uh, we're gonna get quiet. We're probably gonna do these next few laps off camera and then uh, we'll kinda go from there. Then me and Josh are gonna talk about uh, the two games. But first impressions, um, I think I think it's spot on. What's crazy is when you stand on the brakes, it's crazy how much you can feel. Um, yeah, this game is a beast. Traction control is only on the two, so I know I couldn't do that at my house. I would have died by now. Yeah, this this is the business. <laughs> Switching over to Art Factor 2, ladies and gents. Tires should be nice and warm now. No ricks in line, so it's an authentic experience. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, you didn't break at the third rumble strip. What's crazy to me is how much I can feel through the wheel when I stand on the brakes. And again, that could just be a, a semi-cute thing. But, I mean, if you're chasing realism, unless you want to buy the 488 uh, Thrustmaster T8, TSPC Racer, baby! TSPC Racer, so you get the authentic Ferrari wheel. Uh, I don't think it'll get too much farther off from this. Um, our factor doesn't have GTP, but after we finish this comparison, I think I think as a uh, just a fun little end, I'm going to drive that Audi R15 on here perfect wheel uh, to do it but yeah this yeah. <laughs> yeah this this ain't no joke I think everything is there that I needed to see like oh is it worth it um you consider how oh, I'm catching it oh what yeah, this, this, this joint is crazy. Bro, I can feel the wheel through the floor. Wait till you drive it. You can feel, you can feel the ABS. Like. Oh, can you? <laughs> sure, no. no joke, bro. What's your, what's your impression from the Fanatec? From the DD1? Yeah, it's... It's definitely more than just five newton meters of uh, torque. There's definitely more to it than just that. Uh, yeah, well, this is this feels better than ACC. Like, yeah, this is this is the business right here. Chase, chasing realism, right? Motion platform and butt kicker next. Your switchbacks look cleaner, dude. It sucks because I know I wouldn't be this good at home. Not not on my uh, not with my pedal plate moving the way it does. And what's impressive to me is how low I got traction. I think track is at like a two. Out of what? I don't. It don't even matter. I mean, only thing lower than two is one and zero. Lap time won't count. So the R factor uh, braking track limits is kind of savage. Well, at least on that turn, yeah. <laughs> but what's funny about it is like you're already a second faster. One point six. Oh, that looked good. Two yeah. seconds. 
Yeah, that was the exit I needed. 2.2. Oh, be quiet. You're close. Look. Purple. That's the fastest I've ever been at Spa. <laughs> so, I think resoundingly positive first impressions of R Factor. Um, the, I'm going to try to not talk about the wheel and just talk about the force <laughs> feedback. Um, we both ran a 221 at Spa. Yeah, yeah. GT3 car. That was awesome. 488 GT3. That and was I think. Awesome. I think that's the whole point. Like I, I flirt with 221. I've done it a couple times on ACC, but uh, I think it's basically on par with ACC. I wouldn't even say it's on par. I would, uh, I would, I would give it the not. I would give it the edge over ACC. The thing and, about it is that I can feel ABS. Uh, like we don't want to make it about the wheel, like David said, but I can feel ABS. I can feel the tires start to lose grip, I can feel where the limit is on the tire in our factor. In ACC, it's kind of like a guessing game for me sometimes. And I, I think at the end of the day, there is enough there for me personally to justify when you combine cost and, uh, you know, the new online ranking system. So it's like, Gold, I mean, basically bronze, silver, yeah, wood, it's, yeah, it's wood like platinum, that. you know, yep. you work your way up the ladder. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap that up there. Um, another video about to get going in a second after we get some food. Uh, what, um, final verdict? The, uh, our factor two or I racing? Yes. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Totally I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll have to look at graphics and put that into play. But uh, this game is old, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. Our factor and I racing are both it's old. So like, I, I I racing might be older than our factor too. Now that I think about pretty it, pretty sure right. you're right. Our I racing is older. Uh, the sounds are pretty good too. I actually don't recall hearing the turbos in I racing or ACC, but in this anyway, uh, resoundingly positive. <laughs> Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. We definitely going to keep Sim Saturday going because that's what we're actually doing right now. Uh, GT1 comparison on AMS2 next, so stay tuned.